guys, Ginger Cook here, and I'm excited to tell you that while we normally go on Mondays, this is now going to be Acrylic Tuesday for today <laughs> uh, at 5.30 Central Time. Normally you'll see us on Mondays on YouTube, but uh, we had a little technical difficulty yesterday, but you know what? Uh, things get uh, fixed, and we're up here. And what's ex you're going to love the show tonight, because not only are, am I going to be doing an acrylic painting, but it's a mystery painting. My daughter, the art chirpa, has challenged me to, when I, she asked me last week, what are you painting the next week? I said, oh, I have no idea. She says, I'm going to challenge you to a painting. I'm going to send it to John. You're not going to know what it is. John's kept it secret from me all week. I promise not to look at the thumbnail. You probably have a better clue than I do about what I'm going to be painting. Yeah, I even put the thumbnail up late. So, um, which is kind of, you know, this is neat. Don't you think this is fun? Now, uh, when we said this will be a challenge, also we're going to, well, um, uh, John's indicated that the canvas I'm going to be doing tonight is a 9 by 12. I don't know what it's going to be. It's a little bit bigger. He felt that whatever the challenge was, it needed to be a little lo lar longer, uh, larger. However, we will still have a 6x8 um, original Ginger Cook to give away tonight, along with our Salvador paint set. So, John, have you uh, scooted me down to the uh, table? Um, you can see this is the Salvador paint kit we're giving, giving away from Salvador. At the end, there'll be a drawing for that with the, the, the 12 brushes and all the little paints. And whatever I'm painting tonight, I'll be using Salvador paints except for the golden titanium white. I'll be using that, maybe a couple others, but pr pr primarily that, okay? And uh, this is the size of the canvas. I'm not sure what it's going to be. Well, well, here, let me... Uh, let you guys, me, you want to see what it's going to be? Are you excited? Let me kind of disclose to you here. Let me have that canvas back. I kind of fooled you with you, that you, one. It's not this, it's not it, this not, canvas? No, I, I have a better canvas for you. Oh, this is the canvas. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so it's sort of a light green color. That's interesting, isn't it? So that would be um, probably the light green in the Salvador paint kit and white. I would guess that would be that underpainting on that. Nice. Let me open up your paints. We got oh, ready look for at you. that. See, he's got the paints all laid out for me, and we did it, did it ahead of time. These are wet sponges. They keep and, them moist and, for and you. It keeps it up. moist. And that was a, um, well, what kind of lid was that, John, that you had there? Oh, that was a, um, you're supposed to put your cupcakes in it. It's a cupcake a lid from, you know, from cooking. I'm sort of like a... You know, wasn't you throw out the friends. You know, those kind of things, right? So, and that's kind of clever. If you, maybe you didn't know that. First tip of the night, maybe you <laughs> didn't know that, was that something you can do is you can put a couple wet sponges in your, uh, uh, you know, like, for instance, the, the size of canvas like this, or even a smaller one, uh, the uh, palette paper will fit sometimes into a baking sheet with a lid or a brownie pan or something, and then you put a couple sponges in keeps your paints nice in case you have to go somewhere and want to come back the next day. It's a good trick. So fun to know, yes? Well and of course worth we, it right there. We have our happy color wheels here. And now, uh, before I turn over what the painting is going to be, and I can't wait to see it, okay? I can't either. Um, the, painting, uh, the painting we're going to be auctioning, uh, off, not auction, drawing for today. Not that uh, we will talk about our art auction too. We have going right now, but this was one of our most successful fall t tutorials on YouTube. And Everybody this is, loves that one. This is the original to that, and someone is going to win that tonight. So we're not going to give away the paint the, this larger one, but we definitely will. Someone will be win that. And we thought that was pretty neat. And I know that even if you've painted this, you might want to see how the original looks and how it's done and what the colors are like. So this is a biggie, right? Normally I'd put this in an auction, but we're giving that away tonight. So our Speaking of auction, why don't we put the one you're painting tonight will go into the auction? Well, we could do that, John. So well, you're assuming it'll turn out. Yeah. Well, all so right. do a good job on it. It'll be in the auction, because our auction um, ends when? Uh, well, one week. One in week one from, week. So you one have week a, oh. today. All right, so this Here is going by Here it is. Drum roll. Oh, I did it upside down. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. You guys, is this gorgeous or what? Ain't that wow, beautiful? Wow, that is beautiful. Does that say fall with the waterfall and this lady in the kimono and this beautiful blue um, uh, fence. fence here Big that, word. you know, with the compliments, you know, blue and um, and orange are compliments. And so you, you put those together just in life in here, too. What a... the what a phenomenal, phenomenal photograph. 
And it'll be interesting to paint, too, don't you think? I think it'll be fun. It'll be fun. So uh, we've got our set. John wasn't sure what I'd want, so he put pretty much all the colors out. Well, I and, had fun. They had lots of colors. And, um, well, you look at the painting, you've got tons of colors. And there. then plus a lot of extra, you know, I've got more extra reds. Yeah, with all those And I've got the golden, uh, the, the golden titanium white, which I'll do a nice... A uh, row of that on, maybe another one like that, who all by itself. Okay, so um, is this exciting, you guys? So for those of you who didn't realize that uh, Cinnamon Cooney, the art chirper, was my um, daughter, is. She, is, she still is your daughter. You can't. She's still my her. daughter, and I thought this was really fun. So if Cinnamon, if you're watching, <laughs> you Thanks. may get a challenge back. But thank you for the beautiful painting. I hope I can do it justice. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So, you know, when, when you're doing a landscape, the trick is to start with the back colors first and then, then start layering over that, all right? So what I'm going to do to make this really easy, and you're going, yeah, what could you do to make it easy? Well, uh, somewhere in my drawer, don't I have the... Um, the sea sponges. Didn't you buy me some sea sponges, John? I bought me some sea sponges. I'm oh. willing to share. Okay. All right. So, can me a sea sponge. And let's let's get as much of this done with the sea sponge as we can to simplify this. But I think it should be pretty cool. I'm so, thinking. John's just opening a new package of sea sponges. You That's you right want there. natural sea sponges, not the uh, artificial kind, because they've got all these fun little holes in them. You can use more them. More random. They're more, give you a little bit more random look to it. So you see where we've got a little bit of blue coming through. It's probably where the waterfall was, but I think I will put, rather than the light yellow here, I think I'll put a little bit more blue in the sky, all right? So um, what I want to do is uh, take a palette knife and um, just take a little bit of white paint. Tiny bit of, I think I'm going to use the... Um, Primary cyan with that. No, they're okay. asking if Cinnamon painting this at the same time you are. No, Cinnamon's not painting this. She is not. We don't do that. We don't. I don't do art critiques on her tutorials, and we don't paint each other's pictures. And that's just a family rule because we still have Thanksgiving together <laughs> when there's not COVID, right? And um, we're still family. We're still family. We just we you just oh, look. You don't want to get into that with people. All right. So here I'm going to take the sponge. And I'm just going to come on up here like this, over this green. Isn't that pretty? And, uh... I thought that, like, that lime green would be a perfect Well, I think it's this. a good background, because there could be some trees back here that are still lighter. Yeah? And, um... Here's some of this blue here, like that. And you can see where... I mean, you know, we have a photograph, but we don't have to be slaves to it, but we got the idea that we want to convey something like this, right? That's really pretty, and I could even do a little bit more of the cyan in here. Um, really, that ridiculous palette we, knife we, doesn't bend. Somebody's asking, are we shifting to Tuesdays? No, we had technical mm -hmm. issues Monday that prevented us from going live. Oh, they were big time too. I mean, John was up till three in the morning last night uh, trying be to five resolve them. My queen. And we five, right? Yep. It was a long time. Five o'clock before we finished the project, we got her working. All right, so here's a little bit stronger blue here in this. A little bit stronger up in here like that. Maybe where the waterfall was. And then um, th we've got a waterfall here. So I think what I'll do is just take a large brush and uh, get a little bit more of the cyan and just come on down here like this with the um, different blues. Maybe a little ultramarine blue in there. Maybe a... Um, let's. Uh, what gray is blue? Uh, orange. Let's take a little bit of that. Don't want it too bright. There we go. Want some? Once this will be under my bridge. Let me just see here. About um, yay far. Okay. So I'm just going to come down here like that and suggest that there's my waterfall coming down this way behind the bridge. Okay. And then this part in here. Okay right about in here, like about like yay, okay? You can kind of see it here from my... Well, it's actually not even that far. It's like this. Let's just do this. This part right here is going to be dark, all right? So 
Um, and this part in here, we're going to do some greens in. So let me just kind of erase that blue line. I can still leave it. It's all right. And we'll do a few little greens. So let's take some um, dark... Okay, what, what, what you're referring to as a waterfall is actually the stream going underneath the bridge. That's a waterfall there. Uh, no. That's a stream going underneath the bridge. It's... Really? Yeah. Oh. Huh. Well, then that's no good. We have to change direction. So this is an important um, lesson that... That's no good. If that's not a... <laughs> if that's not a stream... If that's not a waterfall, the water doesn't go down that way. I thought this was a giant waterfall coming down. Well, you know, I don't have Mrs. Magoo here with the <laughs> stuff, right? So that's all right. So Because you kept saying... Waterfall, waterfall, and I go, wait a minute. So I had to go look at the image again and go, no. Are that's you not sure a waterfall. it's not a waterfall? Mine's not a waterfall. Uh, uh, oh. We're going to go, nope. uh, nope. you guys are all going, uh. So let's take some of this uh, soap, soap green, which really should be sap green, a little permanent violet, and paint this pretty dark under here. Come this way. All right. So we know this is going to be dark under here, yes? And about about down this far. All right, so we're just kind of blocking this in here, you guys. All right, and let's see what else can we do. Uh, all right, so we know we've got we've got the um, this is where the um, that little bridge is, walkway, little fence. And this is dark up in here. That's about as much as there's dark. This is about what? Four fingers? So far, like that, right? That's the dark part. And then I want to take a little of the green, which we're going to add some, we'll take some yellow oxide to soap green and make sort of a olive green color. Okay. We'll take our sponge and do this. Let's do a new part of it so we don't have any white in it. Let's do that and here like that with some of our background. Get some of this darker in here like that and let's see how about some um, Get some of this yellow here. Do something light right here. So, all right, I'm going to kind of rinse the sponge off and then. And I want, um, actually, I want a little bit of this uh, turquoise in here again, too. Some of this cobalt. What is that brilliant blue? That's pretty. I don't want the color mixed too much. And when you're using a sponge, if the sponge is too wet, you're not going to be happy. So make sure you really wrung out your sponge like that. Okay. Now let's see what I we got. I bring it on myself. But... All right. Let's see what we got up here like that. And I, if, if for me to do any more to this, I'd have to dry it. All right. But I've got this is sort of my basic. Um, underpainting, yeah. So I'm going to just take a second to dry this, um, which is, because before I can do anything else, we got to dry it. Okay, wait a second. I think we have Cinnamon in the house. The Art oh, Sherpa. Hi, Cinnamon. Sorry I'm commenting a bit late. We had a teen moment <laughs> in the <laughs> hot chat. Well, I, I just, just had to rewind to see my mom's reaction to the image. Oh my gosh, this is the most beautiful. I can't believe you shared this photograph. This is so gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Bit of a challenge, yes and yes. I'm surprised you didn't grab it yourself. Thanks for letting us do it. Thank you for letting This was fun. We're doing it on a... John thought a 9 by 12 canvas was good. We've done a little sponging here. Just a little underpainting work here before we tackle the, um, the entire um, painting. And I'm about ready to dry it. But, I mean, you know what? You could look for a photo for me in your future for the 
for the ginger challenge. Challenge <laughs> the mom challenge back. But, mom challenge but, coming back. But I, I, I feel honored you shared this painting with me, this photograph with me. Thank you very much. I love it. I have come across a couple that I know aren't under Ginger's wheelhouse, so I think Cinnamon we would like to do them. So be expecting that coming your way. All right, you guys. That's fun. Oh, I love you're gonna, it. Oh, you're going to do something. I'm going to dry this, all right? I guess you're doing something. All right. While she's drying that, hey, we thank everybody for joining us today. Um, if you are commenting, please comment in English. We are an English website, and I struggle with that as it is. No other languages. They will be removed. Thank you very much for that. If you are new and have not had a chance to subscribe, please take a moment and subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Ooh, I need to do that myself. I just kicked it up at 229. Hit that thumbs up. It helps uh, YouTube know that you appreciate what we're doing and helps us get promoted out there and let other people know that we do exist, even on Tuesday when it's supposed to be on Monday. All right. So it's a Monday, and, Tuesday. And for those of the, you that got here late, we will have a drawing uh, at the end of the show. This is the original uh, from one of the fall scenes that had been one of my most successful YouTube fall scene and videos. And people love doing that and one. And people love this one. It's the original from that. We think that's really special. Normally, I would put this in the auction. And then, John, whenever this painting is finished, John suggests we put that in our fall auction. We'll tell you more about our fall auction. It has a week left to go. It's doing great. You guys, you can't believe the neat art we have available at below wholesale prices. It's really cool. They started so low, so you guys would be so impressed. And there's still some, there's still some paintings, there's still something, a couple of things under $25 haven't been bid on. Yeah. All right. So now. Still plenty of action. Still plenty, plenty of action. action plenty of to, to, to action. And we'll show um, some when I see this, uh, one of the things I want to do, since you were so kind, is to do that, the size that. Um, uh, do you have a sheet? I um, have a blue. You have, I think, um, okay, I don't so think yellow is going to show up. Do you have? I have a blue. Well, but maybe, maybe it might. Blue. Let me just see. Let's see if this shows up even. Let me just try something with the pen. Let's see if we can even make this mark. Yeah, that shows up there. Will it show up here? Um, I'm not seeing that one. It's not going to show up here. It'll, it'll show up over here on this side. Do you have a little bit of piece of blue? Yeah, so I'll just kind of do it like this. I don't know if I have a little just, piece of blue. I want, I want some, because I, I don't want, the blue isn't going to show up over there on the dark side. All right, so here's a piece of blue. This is Sorel transfer paper. If you didn't have any, you could just take some soft pastel chalk on the back of your picture and do that. I want to just, at this point, um, um, at this point I want to do something like this. I just going to just do like that because I want this. I'm pretty sure it'll show this. This will show up now. The dark blue. I'm hoping it will. Um, let's see what we got, you guys. So I want to just make sure that we have our, our bridge in. And um, I don't need a lot in on the bridge. I just want to make sure we have it in the right place. And we've got our little um, um, our gal here. I want to make sure we have her the right size. Here's our bridge. Yeah, the labels for our printout are on gingercookstore.com. GingerCookStore.com is where the labels are for the Salvador and their normal paint. Those will be updated, but Salvador's are current, thanks to Elizabeth from Haiti that did that for us. Just do a search for label. That website's under big construction right now. It's removing everything to the one website. And once we get moved over there, it will be a new name. All right, so that gives us a little idea where everything goes, right? That's all I wanted this for. I just wanted to see where everything goes so we get it in the right right area. So now we'll get down to the business, you guys, and I'll answer questions as I go of painting this. And uh, John, can you send this over to my iPad? I thought I already did. Oh, let me turn it on. All right.
Is it there? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. That's nice. I always right. like to see things. Well, yeah, on my I, don't, iPad. I don't want to let you see it early, but yeah, it's over there. Okay. All right. Good. 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 Yes and yes. All right. So, what do we know for sure? We know that. Um, we know that the. We've got a bridge that's doing this, right? Well, there are a million there. We've got a, it's a neat little bridge right here. A little walking bridge. And we've got a, a kind of a brighter red it's coming up above it like that. Okay. So there's our bridge. I mean, we got more to do to the bridge, but I mean, there's a start on the bridge, yes and yes. I'll do work more on the water before we get too crazy, but um, here's the top of the bridge. Let's just do here like that. There's the top. So uh, already we're sort of getting a sense for this, right? Now, of course, with any landscape, you've got to do the background first, and then you keep going with the rest of it, all right? What's Ginger's favorite color and her favorite season to paint? I like fall. I love the, all the oranges and the turquoises and stuff together, the combinations. I remember years ago, Cinnamon was in co junior college, and they were going to cancel the art class because not enough people signed up for it. So I signed up for it, too, because you could adults could do it. I got a few of my friends to do it, so she'd make the class. And so this was one of the first few times I kind of took a class together, and the teacher was so interesting. She felt... She had this personal belief that the um, um, that there was something called the perfect color. When you got the perfect color, you put it in a baby food jar, which, of course, even back then was a little challenging to find. She wanted us to all run around and find it in baby food jars. It's very funny. And um, so um, the upshot of it was is that um, um, I personally did not think there was such a thing as a perfect color, but, you know, we went along, we humored her, right? <laughs> you humored this lady because your color depends on what, what makes a color, color perfect is what you um, put it next to. If you put a compliment, if you put a turquoise next to an orange, it suddenly be orange because it's a perfect color. Does that make sense? That's a perfect color. So normally I would do the um, dark first, but I'm going to do the light first here, up in here like this. I'm going to put some of this light yellow up here because this is something that's sort of back behind here and then I'm going to go to the dark green and put this dark green back here like this there we go and just kind of come on down here like that and maybe even into here a little bit I'm going to have a little bit of this dark green peeking up and then I want a little turquoise um, a lot of different ways to paint this, and I want, like I say, I want a little turquoise. Uh, here, I think I want turquoise and white though. Let's get some white in there. I want some turquoise and some sort of light blue. Okay, let's get more of that. This uses up a lot more paint than I normally would do, but that's all right. Um, this is an efficient way to kind of sneak in a background. Especially when you have a lot of colors in we it. We have a lot. We're saying that we have a lot of colors in here. And a lot of small, that, um, small brush strokes, so to speak. Yeah, a lot of small brush strokes that might need to go in here like this. Ooh, I like Steffi. I have the link. I'll give it to you. I'll trade it for a link. I'll trade you the link for some more thumbs up. Okay, good job, Steffi. All right, so. You can kind of see where I did that, right? And I like um, that. yeah, that's I think nice. That's good enough. Let's go. And uh, and then you've got your. I think we said Do we. Do you had wash the sponges with brush soap or just water? Brush soap. I'll use the soap with it too. So here's our our um, bridge. And I will call that the fence. Okay, the fence. <laughs> so picky. <laughs> 
So for you to put in a waterfall in there. Well, it looked like a waterfall to me. I'm sorry, my dear friends. It looked like a waterfall to me. You guys are on live on my day off. Hoo hoo. <laughs> Woo hoo. Well, you know, it's the least we could do. That, that's why we wanted to spend the entire day troubleshooting the network yesterday. All right, there's my fence. All right, and it's um, coming along like like this. I think I'll take a couple of those out. I got too many in there. Let's let's uh, cut out a couple. Kind of go back and thin them out a little bit. Yeah, yes and yes. All right. So there's the, there's the fence right there. And um, and we've got some, uh, I think I can, without drawing it, I can still put in, I've got some, um, got some trees that are coming, kind of, here's our little person right there. And I've got some trees kind of coming in this direction, and they're going all the way up to the top. Okay, and then we've got um, some little bit of, that's kind of fun, right? Yes and yes. We've got some little brighter green that's uh, back kind of in here, like this. We can just tap in with a brush now, some of these closer, brighter colors. And uh, let's take a little bit of this violet color and blue, and mix that together, and soften the um, soften this tree here. Just let a little of that brown show. We gray it out a bit. Okay, there we go. That's one. And uh, then we have a little bit of burnt sienna and white. And we're going to say that back here there's another. Another tree we barely see. A little fatter, but we don't see the whole thing. And um, there we go, something like that. All right, this is so far I'm entertained, right? Yes and yes. So now what? Okay, so I think I want some zinc white which is your transparent white, and I'll put that over here so we're not confused. And sometimes when you want something to be less uh, pronounced, you can just put a little of that on top and it'll just, it'll soften it. And the same thing here, I think I still want to soften um, these. They're just a little, well, I may have to wait till they dry, but I'm going to soften those a little bit. All right, so now let's get, um, Let's get more into our background colors. This is fun. So can I answer um, can I answer any questions, John? Well, you can say, welcome to Jennifer. She made her first Ginger Live. Jennifer, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you made it. And um, I was talking... Don't get used to Tuesdays. We're here on Mondays normally. I was so funny. I was talking to my niece in, um, in um, uh, Seattle the other day at Tacoma and because um, she's coming down to Houston was hoping we could get together and unfortunately because of you know COVID um, it's not too likely that we'll be able to do that especially with Texas being uh, number one in the nation so I said so, but I appreciated the, the, her thought and I said um, have um, you watched either Cinnamon or I on our on our YouTube shows and she hadn't, so if she's, well, she said she might, so if she, well, you're watching now, welcome, right? But the fun thing was that her, um, her uh, half-sister, who she was raised with, had t took up painting this summer, and they were talking, and, and uh, she said, 
and it got to the they're talking about cinnamon the art sherpa and her um her sister said you know the art sherpa don't you think this is funny in a family and she says well she's my cousin i kind of know her <laughs> don't you think that's fun i love that don't you and she says i kind of know her you know she's my cousin how about that you know, those are the fun stories aren't they and, you know um, all right, so you see how we're starting to put in this forest. Starting to build it up. And now, then, people are asking what part of Japan this is in. It is in Japan. We don't know. That's as far as we know. It's a big place. We have no idea. You know, you gotta, you got to know that for sure, that yeah, Japan is It's in is Japan, a, and that's, that's the best we can offer you. Sorry. Here's our little person, and she's got... I would like to find it, because that would be a cool place to go visit. Oh, yeah. Well, I watched a show one time about some waterfall they had in Japan, and, um, you know, they've got um, some beautiful places. It's a gorgeous countryside and still preserved in a lot of places. All right, so then back up in here, this is sort of fun because there's all these little branches that are back up in this area here. And then there's that we're going to bring forward some. Um, so I'm t trying to think how I want to do that. And um, I'm thinking that one of the things I might do is that this is a good place for a Posca pen because there's a lot of little white ones. And um, I'm just going to come on up here like this. Randomly put them in. Do not do a pattern, people. Yeah, absolutely. Just start by saying that there's some branches kind of back, back up in here that are there. You can kind of see them in here. Can you guys kind of see them? See? Oh, thousands of them. And Don't uh, feel you have to put them all in. Thank you. We have seen that done before, too. Yes, we have. But be aware of the direction. Don't have lines going off the canvas. And they're all kind of back and behind here like that. And we're not, I don't know how many of these we're going to see, but a few, right? That's the idea to put them in now. Put those in, because that does sort of give that look. Are, yeah, leaves are going to be on place on, on top of them. Let's see, and I have some, um, I have a brown Posca pen. So I don't want to use black, for sure. I would not use black. but I, Posca pens, my, they, they don't make a real dark brown. They make kind of a medium brown pen. And um, if, I, if, I, if, I, if it was handy, um, I would show it to you. It's not. Um, I have one, but. Um, so then I guess what the next best thing we'll use is a. You don't. You can't. You're brown. You can't find the brown one. So let's see. Um, well, I mean, I've got all these. I mean, I guess I could bring the whole box over here. We'll all look together, shall we? Um, oh, here it is. There. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I've got. It. It's not a thin one, but it might be okay. They've got a little ball in these, and if you're not aware that you've got to shake these up, you it's are like now. you just. You know, if you go to. Um, for instance, a hardware store and you're buying house paint, they put the paint in the shaky thing and they shake it up a long time. Um, the first time you really have to shake it up, but even if you haven't used it in a while, you should. Okay, so we might put a few of these in here. Just so you know, it's 2.08 a.m. in Romania. Oh my goodness. Welcome, Romania. This Hi. is a 9 by 12 canvas. 9 by 12. We work in proportions of the 6, eight, six by 8 family. 9 by 12, 12 by 16, 18, 24, etc. So now that way I'm going to go, go up on top of this scale. with some white. Kind of tone it down a little bit. Yeah, I'll just go on top with some white and just, you, you know, these are a little bit thicker, but um, see what that does? Just, they're there. You're not really seeing them, all right? So there's, but we've indicated that there's just definitely there's something just, back there to support the crazy the, leaves. To support the trees and all the stuff that's back in here, and I think I've given them this enough time to dry. Where you see, this is what we kind of the area we were doing here. Um, so let's just start putting in our um, our foliage, shall we? How fun is this? So. Um, so always start with the farthest colors away first. We've got some of this light orange in the background here. So we could use the sponge on that and probably been fairly successful. 
Yeah, the sponge has been doing good. The sponge would have worked too if we wanted to. Where um, do you get box of towels? I don't understand that question. The, the, the um, tub of towels? The tub of towels um, on, on, on YouTube? I think we I'm get not sorry, on Amazon? On, um, Amazon? Amazon, Walmart, hardware stores. They're available all kinds of places. Tobo towels. So we'll just put a few of these in here like this. And again, a sponge probably would have been fine too. But we're just uh, putting in some of these lighter colors. Okay. These background colors. Judy, and you're not really asking that question, are you? Um... Let's try a little bit of the zinc white with that. Kind of tone this down a little bit. So I want some of this in the background and just want the feel of this um, in the background. Now, if I'm going to go in front of that tree, then we've got to do uh, more white in front of these trees, kind of br break this up. Take our time with it. This is a challenge. We'll try to do it justice. Um, make it pretty. Make it pretty. Um, Remember, we'll be adding this particular painting that she's painting this evening. Will be added to the auction. Um, look for it. T t t John will do it sometime tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's 24 hours in a day. I like to use them all. <laughs> I'm not one to waste an hour or two. Mm -mm. <laughs> 24 of them, baby. I well, want them. No, John, and, and nobody's saying anything other than that's absolutely true. I'm really thinking that the sponge would have been a better solution I'm really, to this. I'm surprised you lasted as long as you did. Yeah, I think so because the the effect I want because it's so spongy. Do you have well, a really different? Is, this one's very airy. This one's all blue. Can you give me a new one? Oh, you see, this my one has queen. paint in. I can't wash it. See, this one has too much blue on it. Yes, there's a clean can. side, but I don't want to. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to do that. Mm -mm. So um, I got a baby one. That's fine. Baby's fine. Just a little okay. baby piece here, a little piece like this, right? We don't need much, you guys. We give just me this need. One. John will go wash that one, or he doesn't have to do it now. It's just fine. We're probably this is probably the last ones we'll do like this. I don't this. think it is. You've got to kind of fold them over like that when you do it and kind of bunch them up. Yes and yes. Here. There we go. I know you like watching paint dry, but maybe not so much, right? There we go. Now wonder what we could do with yellow. See, it's yellow, happening. if we do yellow, what's going to happen is it's going to kind of blend in a little bit. We can do a little yellow in this background, and then we'll have to do some brighter yellows. That's the Azel Lemon Yellow that I'm using here. My hands got wet. Just sort of putting in the colors. Though it is pretty, don't you think? I think, I think there's a feeling that you have to do all um, um, one color or another, which just isn't true. You've got some options here. You have to know when and, to use a sponge. And, uh, and this is a perfect painting for it. I mean, if you look at the leaves that were created in, in the picture, they're very airy, and very small and tiny. You don't want to sit there and be a pointillist. Yeah, see, we, but, but you see how we're sort of pulling that background, and this is sort of acting like a frame. These leaves are acting a little bit like a frame to um, to this, and um, let's see, a little bit of the gold here. I'll put a little yellow in the background here as the underpainting for some of these orange ones that are coming this way, like that, okay? So, all right, and then we need a little bit of that back in the back over in here, too, see? 
We would like to thank Carrie for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. Thank you very much, Miss Carrie. Oh, absolutely. Thank you so much. And I want a little of this back here, barely touching it here like that, just kind of indicating that there's something there. It's already kind of coming. Ooh, is that nice? I'm liking that. Ooh, isn't that nice? That is nice. I'm liking that. It's a little bit of green and yellow. Here we go. I want something. You'll see a little bit of the, this, uh, a little bit of blue here. Green. All right. So back up in here, right? Here at the bottom of this, we're going to put a little of this sponge too by my. Here we go by the bridge. Now, see how the sponge is mixing the colors? Um, You're doing a beautiful job. You see, you can, can, get, you know, can, you can kind of. We, we've, hey, listen, I want to shout out to our friend Linda, who, um, because of some um, physical challenges, that make it impossible for her to use her arms very much before she gets really tired when she uses a brush. She's discovered that she can finger paint practically everything, and she's doing that. You know, there's a there's a lot of different ways to uh, paint something. Look, isn't that neat? Kind a lot of, of different ways to get the paint to the canvas. Yeah, and this is just one way. We, you know, we could do some more, but well, it's you very can see effective where, in this painting. You, you can see where we've got uh, something kind of nice coming down here. And um, I think that's pretty good. I'll put the little sponge back in the water, and I'm kind of happy with that. Let's take a moment now and dry this. I'm going to take uh, maybe, a moment and show some more auction pieces. Maybe I could dry. do that while this is drying. Somebody asked about the tub of towels. This is what we're talking about. These, I'll tell you what, there was one of our, one of our Academy members wrote in and said she had taken a large tube of red paint and accidentally sat on it, and it had Oh, it is well, split it. all over a white Chanel Chanel bedspread. You know, that's the white bedspread with all the little funny bumps. Chanel, I mean, you know you know the time I mean. Now, that for most of us would have been, you either get a pink bedspread or you dye the whole thing pink, you know, hope you can put it in water <laughs> and dye the whole thing. She got them all that paint off with tub of towels, and I wouldn't have given you a nickel to be able to. I would have lost the bet in Vegas on that. Said, I don't care what these things do. They're not going to do that, but they did. But one thing they do do is clean your hands. They get the paint off your clothes. They're actually meant for house cleaning and stuff. And gosh, you could do that too. But uh, <laughs> well, that's silly. Who has time for that? There's 24 hours a day. I'm not going to waste any time doing that. But but I'm just saying that these really work, and um, they're environmentally friendly, and they have nice things to say about them, and we like and them. And they work. And the art sherpa says looks. So amazing, Mom. Thank you. So you have thank your you. Sherpa stamp of approval so far. Thank you, thank you. Well, if you're liking sort of uh, tree scenes, this is one of our auction pieces coming oh, I up. I love that one. Um, this was the, uh, the bridge. This was actually a YouTube tutorial. Um, it's a little 8 by 10 It's our auction pieces coming up. Now, this is where we took artistic license and planted... We had some fall going on, and we also decided to have some summer flowers. This is what Thomas Kincaid was famous for. He didn't care what was growing when. Everything <laughs> bloomed in his garden. But, you know, everything blooms in my garden in heaven. That's what I think heaven is. I can have all the colors I want. So, therefore, maybe a little piece of heaven. The rain, you know, heaven's your bridge, right? And then when John and I were uh, fortunate enough to be able to see Cuba before it was uh, uh, closed to American citizens, and... Um, we took some pictures. This is our uh, one of my favorite paintings. This is all done with a palette knife. This is an Academy tutorial, just recently released, nine by twelve, and it's also available it, for download. And it's also available to download and purchase if you don't have to be an Academy member. You can just buy the downloadable lesson, but you can own the original. No kidding, right? No the original's kidding. in the auction. Come on, you guys, how cool is that? So then, um, let's see. Let's get some of the small ones. Um, Sometimes, uh, one of the reasons that you do still lifes as artists is that you learn how to paint certain things. And that's, uh, traditionally, art schools teach still lifes um, because of the techniques that are available. And one of the things in this little um, uh, 10 by 10 uh, still life is, you know, how to paint glass. And this is one of our auction pieces. I like it because of the paintbrush. I think this would be really cute in anybody's studio. This one doesn't have a bid on it yet. If you haven't, if you, you, you know, I, I think this is charming and be very, very cute. Okay. Um, we talk about uh, 
we talk often, you'll hear us talk about color. And one of, again, one of our most successful YouTube videos, surprisingly, with these fish, these rainbow fish. And um, people love that one. People, everybody did it, and it's still available on YouTube. It's a fun painting, and it's kind of on a little, uh, what, 8 by it should be an 8 by 16 8 by 16 canvas. That's really cute. But if you want to see the original, how I did it, and, and really see the colors, and it'll be varnished before you get it, and I think this is way cool. This is in our auction. Um, Matisse was um, really not an animal artist, but he did a few animals, and we did this as a tutorial. This was a, actually a, a Matisse uh, dog in the snow. And um, this is one of our auction pieces. You know, uh, this may be something that, you know, resonates with you, if you a dog like that. So that's one of our auction pieces. And uh, another one, which is a really um, cool one, is, and uh, this one is part of a... Monet, wasn't it? Monet. It's not the whole painting. It's just a partial one with the flowers. And one of our Academy tutorials, one of our most successful tutorials in our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting because people liked it so much with these beautiful um, hydrangeas and the basket and the roses and so forth. Now, we, we, th this is the only auction piece that we have where we have a buy it now. If you haven't checked that out, I mean, if you don't want to fool, if you just want to own it, don't want to fool around with anybody else bidding you by 25 cents, I, I told John we ought to have one buy it now. Now, you can still bid on it and and, um, you know, and gamble that no one else is going to get it, or you can buy it now, and that's over at a gingercookauction.com. So those are some of our auction pieces. If you're having an issue with your password on, the, on any of our websites, there is a way to reset it, but that usually goes to a junk folder and you can't find it. You can always use the contact us and say, please reset my password too, and tell me what you want to set for or I will reset it to something and you can change it once you are logged back in. Yeah. All right, so we're back to our picture. Now we're starting to... Is it dry to, enough, my queen? Yeah. Okay. We're back to our picture. Now we're coming up into some of our brighter yellows. And um, I'm going to just use probably... Let's see, what brush can I use? Uh, I need a little round brush. Yep. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yes and yes. Nope, nope. I feel like Goldilocks here with the this week's favorite new brush. Okay. Well, this isn't round, but it'll do. It's a little small angle. All right. So what I want to do now is go right into the color. And um, I need some bright yellow. This would be as a lemon yellow. And then the other lemon, other yellow I'm having here is... Um, uh, 344, which is, um, uh, where's that one? 340. could have swore I left all the, the yellows out. 343, 344. This really? Oh, I see. That's the wrong one. I want 343, which is primary yellow. Okay. I just got a little dyslexic on myself, but that's all right. So I'm going to take a little bit of that yellow just like this. And I know that I've got... Um, Just use the Contact Us form on any of the websites for any issues. This is your pure yellow, just coming up here like this, tapping it in, some yellow. Starting to work on some of the brightness. Some of the brighter colors here. Okay. And I uh, want to pull some of these brighter uh, colors in here like this. And uh, maybe even over in here like that. And let's see, we want some, uh, here's some um, vermilion in yellow. Let's see what we get there when we mix that. Should be a nice orange, nice bright orange. Yeah, that's a nice bright orange. Let's see how we're doing with that. We want a nice bright orange with some flowers, you know, some leaves turning this way. That's pretty. This, it's just there's so many different colors in the fall um, that uh, depending on the, you know, how, and I think one of the reasons that we like fall 
is because you and I all know that there's no two falls are the same. If you don't get a good enough cold snap, you don't get the beautiful colors. Or you get them, and then a big rainstorm comes or a storm, and they all blow off the tree, and you got to see them for like five minutes, and then they're gone. Or it never got cold, or there's all these reasons, right, where um, it seemed like it seemed like it was working, and then it didn't, right, with the fall. Yes and yes. Yes and yes. And so um, uh, we're doing little daubs of paint. We're not trying to. There's no water on this brush. Uh, the Salvador paints do the best with a damp brush only. They do not do well as well as the, the, you will not get the oil painting results you want if you water these down too much because they're not designed for that. And they're soft body paint, but they're sort of in between a soft and a hard body paint, and, and they stay wet longer on the canvas. And, um, and on the palette. And on the palette. Hey, we'd like to thank Joanne and Michael for the donations that came in through the PayPal system. Thank you to both. Thank wow, you both. thank you very much for that. So let's just move this out of the way here and see how we're doing. This is sort of my, um, you know, there's never just um, one color for something. See if I can find a palette knife. Do you guys know this trick? Is to just take some color, right, and use your palette knife instead of just kind of do it here where you can get to it. Does that make sense? Don't get done, then kind of roll it off your brush, but then keep it on the tip. But just use your palette knife as kind of a little handy. As your portable palette. Portable palette. Yeah. And uh, and there's, there's going to be a couple. We'll put some brighter colors on this um, soon. Here's a question. Do you use a sponge for trees on a large canvas? Well, if I was doing this one, I would, yeah. I would do it the same way. Sure, if I was doing, not for the most part, but if, if this was, I was doing this particular one, yeah, I would use, I would do that. You a betcha. sea sponge makes a wonderful little leaf pattern, as you can see, in bushes. But again, don't get the synthetic ones. Yeah, because they're just, there's just, you're just not going to get the same results as you would if you did. Um, as compared to the naturals. As compared to the naturals. Now, let me just. Getting a little, little glare on my glasses, so let me just see where I am with this. Um, I want to come on up in here and get a little brighter. Uh, some orange up in here. A little bit brighter colors. Yeah, I want to change colors because we're getting into some magentas. I'm going to put some magenta on here too, because we're we're sort of getting into some different colors now. And uh, you see how that's a little bit darker, a little bit darker red. We'll put these on here. A little variation on the reds. Yeah, you want to vary the reds, and you want to vary the brush strokes. These are not lines; they're just nothing grows in a straight line like your thumb. If you look at branches, they're all kind of, they all have little leaves that, that are kind of off from each other. Um, so uh, there's a tendency to want to make little finger leaves, like your fingers. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, okay? I just told you, so you never want, you just don't want to do that, right? No, no, uh, no Watch patterns. your shapes. Yeah, no, don't do a pattern like that. Watch your shapes. They're definitely in clumps, and they touch, and they overlap, but they... Um, you don't 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 want to do that. All right. And I want to come on up here with the little yellow with that. And all right. So we want to come in front of these trees too. And uh, pull our lighter stuff.
you know, I'm mixing colors on the canvas as I go. Do you see that? Because this is still wet, if I go into the yellows, I'm mixing colors on my brush as I paint. So I'm not just going over here and mixing colors. I'm sort of doing it purposely. She's not being willy-nilly. No. Not being willy-nilly at all. And then every once in a while no you gotta, every once in a while you gotta rinse your brush and the reason you need to do that is um um the um the paint dries in your brush too. So this is that lighter um, azo lemon yellow. The art sharp is leading us. I hate to go, but have to do some bad stuff with the kids. Oh. Everyone needs a bath and get ready for homeschool tomorrow. Yeah, thanks, thanks cinnamon, cinnamon for, for the uh, challenge. It was fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cinnamon, you can always go to the auction and bid on it if you'd like to have it. Hopefully we'll get it up tonight. Um, brighter colors bring your eye forward. Darker colors push it back. Okay, so you see how this, this lemon yellow is sort of bringing everything forward. A, nice a little bit of too. this up here, but not too much. A little bit up here. Just a couple of these little bright specks of bright yellow. You're not seeing a lot of that. A little bit. We're not going to put in every leaf. We're just suggesting fall this way, right? So this is the whole idea of what we're doing here is we're just suggesting fall. Is that, really? Is that what it is? What? Fall. Is it really fall? Well, it, um, for those of you who want to be jealous of John and I, it was 83 degrees today in Houston. <laughs> just saying. It was pretty warm around the whole nation now. I understand Michigan's getting a 25-degree drop in temperature uh, I think overnight. Well, Michigan does that. Yes, Michigan does. is one cold place. It can um, be cold. I mean, when I first moved to Michigan, one day I went to work in short sleeves, a beautiful, a beautiful autumn day. It was October. And by 5 o'clock when I came out, there was an inch of snow, and the temperature had dropped like 50 degrees. Kid you not. Really? Yeah. And I go, is this normal? I mean, I just moved there. Yeah, it happens occasionally. <laughs> what happens more occasion than they really let on. So you'll notice what happens now is I'm putting the brighter orange on top of the darker red because that's the lighter color. It was 76 up in Jersey today. Wow. Well, I, I think Ohio was in the 80s. Just wait, guys. It's coming. All right, where's our little geisha girl? She's right here. Yeah, Indian Summer, that's what it was called. It was 76 in Toronto. But in Romania, 7 degrees. Wow. That's probably Celsius. It's still cold, though. I don't know what... <laughs> it's funny, you know... It doesn't what it matter would... what temperature or what degrees you're using. 7's cold. 25 degrees out in Oregon. Oh, my goodness. What is the largest size canvas Ginger has done in the Academy, and does she remember which one? Uh, I think it was the, um, the one of the Wave and Water ones. Yeah, it's definitely one of the Wave and Water ones. It I was think that one with Oregon Coast, I think. 20 by 24, Oregon, Oregon Coast. Coast. We can't film any bigger than that. And besides, you know, when you get into nine hours of video, how much video can you guys watch, you know what I mean? And we have done, we have done a lot of really, really long ones, and... You know, it's as much fun as they are. How many people are really doing them? Exactly. So, I mean, some people, but um, not that many, right? No, but a lot of people probably watch it because you can certainly, even if you don't paint it, you can learn a lot just from watching Ginger paint them and what she says and how she does it. You do, give a certainly lot of don't tips. have to paint everything that she paints, but I strongly recommend that you. Uh, Watch it. It's a 24 by 30. 
Yeah, we can go 24 high. Thank you, Elizabeth. You can see how we're starting to, to, to build You're up. You're still the using the ulti flat. That's that flat little, or is that a round one you found? Which brush are you using now? This is a um, Albi kind of out, 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 angle. Yeah, it's, it's not a, she just has so much paint on it. It's not a round one. So it's, it's a little baby angle one. It's just starting to, to pull in the, the colors here, right? And Susan says, I hate to say it, but I watch more than I paint. Well, I watch them all. I haven't painted any of them. But interestingly, we just, we're doing a, a a new we're doing a video book. It will be released shortly. It's going to be on demand only. Yeah. It's 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 going to take me probably a full week to uh, edit it. It took a, we're in eight sections, three days of filming. And. Um, and what's interesting um, about it is that, that, that part of the part of the book is some exercises that you can do to um, um, see if you if you understood what we said, basically, right? Yeah. Did you get it, right? And what uh, was neat to me, and so I'll just put this palette knife up here, I guess. What was neat to me is that um, uh, John was a, John did, did did them and got them, you know, like 99% perfectly, you know, and just, which I think is really cool, right? Don't you guys think so? I think it's pretty impressive. Yeah. So let's see, it's I need a little really blue paint. here. I just started Crystal Creek. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Take a little white and blue here, and we'll work on the bridge for a little bit, you guys, while this is drying, okay? Okay. And then we've got, this was a pretty bright red bridge here. Um, I think that's probably not the brush I want to use on that. Becky is painting cookie tins again. Yeah, 20 she, down and 52 to go. She, she did that last year. She, Becky volunteers this stuff. So somebody has suckered <laughs> Becky. And I'm sorry, Becky, but I feel that you have been totally suckered into doing that project for free for people. She paints all these gorgeous cookie tins and, and for some charity that she's doing. But it's a very kind thing to do. I'm just sort of teasing you there. I think it's extremely kind that you're doing that. This is a lot of work. And um, it's a lot of work, right? Here's our girl. And so the next one is right. Here and here. Okay, so let's get the, got to shape the brush or you end up with paint where you don't want it. That means pinching it and reshaping it. Guys, remember to do that. Okay, this was sort of a burgundy color down here. It's a little darker down here on the edge of this. This is supporting column. Yeah. Hey, we'd like to thank everybody that's given a thumbs up. We have reached over 400. Woohoo! Wow, well, you guys, I appreciate that very much. Yes and yes, right? I bet you, I bet you can get to 500. I know you can do it. 
If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing it. Press that little subscribe button. Hit that little bell so you know when we go live because some days we have technical issues and we end up going on a different day. Not yeah. very often, though. Yeah, very this was rare. the first tech technical issue we've had in a while, and it was just our Knock computer would not recognize YouTube. Never heard of it. Every time we got up, said, nope, don't know where you are. No. You're not going to see most of this bridge, but we're going to go ahead and... You have and to put it in there so you can hide it. Yeah, we're going to put it in so we can hide it exactly right. Oh, Patricia. John, can we print out the certificate from the second puzzle? Yeah, go for it. They're not done yet. Patricia, can you send me an email to remind me to do that? I thought of it the other day, then I got squirreled into something else. So if you would go out of your go out of your way to just send me an email to remind me, say hey. Jordan Bill used to work for me, didn't work last year. Um, There's a trick to that alarm bell. Yeah. They they screwed around with it. They 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 upgraded it. If you click on it, you have to go through <laughs> the different parameters and make sure that you have everything selected you want. The, the, yeah, the, we have a thing on you in our um, in our Facebook page, uh, free Facebook club, Ginger Cook uh, Acrylic Paint. Ginger Cook what? What's our Facebook club? Ginger Cook something. <laughs> you always rattle it off. I I just have the link. Ginger Cook Painting Club. Ginger Cook Acrylic, acrylic Painting Ginger Club. Ginger Cook yeah. Acrylic Painting Club. Yeah. I think that's what. Well, it is. in that. Um, um, in our, um, um, in our, uh, painting club somewhere, we have a, uh, we, under, we, we did a, we showed you a permanent place where you can find out stuff. We showed you how to, um, uh, how to do that. You're going how to do what? Well, we showed you how to uh, do what you had to do we, because there's like four steps to get that stupid alarm bell on YouTube to work. And I think it's that, you know, most people are willing to do two steps. When you ask people to do four, you've lost 90% of the people, right? Yeah. You hit they can't, four. You, you hit four, you're, you're kind of, you're kind of, uh, you're going, really? I don't think so. I don't want to do four. All right, now I've got some Van Dyke Brown here, and I'm going to do a few um, major um, tree leaves. And um, that's in the golden um, fluid, and I'm using a dagger brush. All right. Doing a dagger brush, and I know that I want, above here, I've got some little... Branches reaching Little tiny in. branches. What's the starting bid going to be on this particular piece? Oh, I think we'll probably start it off at 45. I hit the subscribe button. Let's see. I would like to buy a puzzle, a Christmas puzzle of her paintings. Don't have any at the moment. My little bell didn't work tonight. Daisy, I, that's a YouTube issue. I don't think mine worked either, come to think of it. Well, that's why I say they, they, they change stuff. If you're on a newsletter list, I do send out a, an announcement that goes out that some people get, other people, it ends up in their junk mail or somewhere and they can't find it. But if you look for Ginger Cook Live at gingercooklive.com, you can find it. And then you'll know where to find it in the future. Okay, some trees there. I'm liking that. And then we've got a bigger tree here. 
It's coming kind of this way. Out from the bottom. Kind of. And this Sunday we'll have our next exciting issue of our newsletter. So we're doing bi-monthly. Well, every two weeks is what we're doing. And we have an exciting topic for you this time. Absolutely. We're, we're, they're real, um, I would say real newsletters. They, they're they're, they're, they're packed full they're, of information. Yeah, they're not just the announcements. They're just, uh, they're actually, we try to, to make them very beneficial for what you might be wanting to know. And... Um, you didn't uh, realize that you really wanted to know until you know it. So let's do something. All right, so we've got we've got these. Right, and of course, now we're going to cover some of this up with um, foliage. But you've got to put the you've got to put the bones of this in here. The framework, as it were. Okay. That's a great brush for that, isn't it? It is a good brush for that, and um, they're just very nice for these. Uh, Tall, uh, tall trees, and um, you know the tree rule is you can't. Your trees have to be fatter as they go down. You can't have it like an uh, uh, like that swallowed a snake in the middle or something. Okay, I always tell people you don't want your trees to look like you've swallowed a snake. Here, here's a question from Farah. Hi, Ginger. In one of your old videos, you used rose matter from Matisse. Would you recommend purchasing this color? It is very expensive, around $38. No. <laughs> okay, do you want to think about it for a second? No, I would recommend not purchasing no. it. We, in fact, you we can just, get darn in, close in our, to it. In our it newest own. book, we talk about rose matter. If it matters. It, then does it. it matter? So I'm going to dry this to you guys real quick. Can you give me a... Give you a silence? Yep. You're gone. All right, everybody, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's a little subscribe button underneath the video. Press it. Hit that little bell icon so it has the little quotes going around it. If you click on it, it'll say all, personalized, or none. If you have it on all, you should get it. If you do personalized, you can tell it what kind of information you want to receive from us. But that is how they are working on those now. If you had a, have not had an opportunity to enter into the little contest, the little drawing we'll be having at, towards the end of the show, do so now. Currently, we're at 260 entries, which is about half of the viewers watching. So you've got plenty of opportunity to partake of this activity. Oh, wait. Let's bring the queen back, shall we? Yeah, bring the queen back. I like that. Am I back on? You're back on. Okay, so... All right, we got a little bit of ways to go on here. here. Here's where we are so far, right? And we've got these trees in, and we've got these are these have to be. We have to stop those from keep keeping going, right? So we got our sponge back. We're gonna take a little of our. You got your clean sponge back. Clean. Well, I've got a clean sponge back too, but I take a little of oh. this orange paint right here, right here, where like this, and come up here, like that. A little bit of that orange, and we sure want some of yellow. So let's put that on here like that. Want some oh, yellow over the top of those. That is gorgeous. That like is perfect that. fall. Isn't that nice? We well, kind of hide those trees a little bit. And um, you, didn't, you just really didn't want the, um, let's see, and I want a little bit of, this is a neat yellow here. Let's see, let's try a different palette knife. Put this one up here and grab this. I like this color right here. Let's grab a little bit of this one and see what we've got. This was called, what is this one? It's called um, Azo Yellow. Okay? Oh, that's a great color. You got some really rich colors. You don't press down real hard either. Light touches. Keep it airy on this particular piece. I know that Ginger's now using paper towels instead of hand towels. She does. With I'm a out of hand knife. towels. We oh. haven't been to Costco. Only. You got to get more. We're kind of we kind of ran out of them. Sad as that is. 
We haven't been out of our confines. Yeah, really. You want to break these branches up. You just want to have them kind of hidden in the trees and just kind of back in there. See, they're there, but they're not, they're, we're not talking about them, yeah? There's a little bit of our azo yellow. A little bit brighter here. Are we going to see a little uh, luminous rose in this painting? We may. Mm-hmm. And I want to put some of this right in here like that. See where our bridge is kind of going? And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm liking all our colors, aren't you? It's looking good. And um, I want some of this color here. This is a Naples um, yellow, Azo Naples, Ello, yellow Naples something. A little bit of that color, that's kind of nice, right? That's a nice kind, color. Kind of, kind of pulls it in a little bit. All right, so we're still going here, yeah? All right, put you back now. Let's do a little green. Here's our sponge again. And I want um, a little bit of... Um, I tell you what, I want some color surprise, so I'm going to get out some um, phthalo green because I want a little color surprise. That will do it. And I want some white with it and phthalo green. Let's mix that up. Don't want any white showing. Just going to mixing it up here. A little phthalo green. A little of this yellow green with it. No, we have not tried to get a um, Costco home delivery. Um, good idea, uh, my, but yeah, and I know that one of my good friends does that all the time, and it's just we we need to. We just haven't done it yet, but we need to. Okay, so I'm gonna wad this up like really small, like this. Yes. That's the color. Oh, look I at that dust. Look at that dust, huh? Yeah, that's just not perfect. See, it needed a little of that color there. And then I need a little bit of the green color here, this light green color with a little bit of the yellow in it. You know, you, you normally don't have to mix them. The nice thing about Salvador is you really don't have to mix the colors too much. But I want to tone this one down here. I want a lighter, kind of a more of a blue green here, like that. There we go. That's the color I want. And I'll give it a new spot to. If you try getting the Walker Scottish shortbreads at Costco, it's delish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. All we're, right. So here, here well we go. Prepared. So we're gonna gonna do this one. How would you put moss on the tree branches? With green. And use a sponge. Good, but see, sponge. see where we've got the see where we've got this brighter green here in front of I our. I like that table and then we've got this lighter green here coming out on the walkway here. So it's here on a little bit on a little bit brighter. So let's see what could I do here. A little bit brighter here. Uh, well it doesn't really have to be that much brighter. It's actually probably pretty good right there but there we go. There we go. Oh, love it, right? There. You don't need too much of that color because it can be overwhelming, but that's... Well, you know, you want to make it a surprise. Yeah. So now... What is the new book you mentioned Rose Matter in? William well, wants so to know We'll that. tell you about it soon. Oh, the, this is one of those cliffhangers. Yeah, the cliffhangers for sure, right? So let's get a little blue. Let's. I, I really thought this should have been a waterfall, but okay, it's not a waterfall. <laughs> Mrs. Magoo, you guys, Mrs. Magoo thinks that's a waterfall, but we're going to... I'm sorry to bust your little bubble. It's all right. Disappoint me. I just all right. I can live with it. Um, 
I guess you could we want some brush strokes away. going the sideways was wrong for it. to um, indicate water against this like that. So I will pull a few little light areas of light. And it's pretty white in the photo, but we're not going to do that. But we No, 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 no. We'll just pull it back going into the bank. We're not going to talk about kind of where what happened to the bridge or why it's there. I wasn't here when they built it, but... <laughs> I thought you were. No, so I'm going to just fake it out a little bit here and just suggest that maybe it's kind of you doing that along the, the shore. Is, it, is the girl still in there somewhere? Yeah, she's here. We just haven't put her in. Okay. She's still here, but, you know, we had to do all this other important stuff, yes? Oh, absolutely. We had I, to do... I, I um, just kind of lost sight of her. With all this yeah, and I did, I, and, I, and I apologize about that. But what that? Oh, that's okay. What is this? Where did that? Where did I put the phthalo green? Was it this? Was it this? No. <laughs> this is why we want labels for things. Was this a phthalo green? Yes. No. Where did I put the phthalo green? What does it really matter? I'm gonna. I know where the big tube is. I'm gonna do it again because I can't remember where I put it. So where did you just put it? Right there. Okay. Little bigger brush strokes. And bigger leaves. Bigger leaves, see? Just a little bit. Sometimes you can do just a little bit. Okay, so let's put our girl in. And then we'll see where else we're at. Oh, wait, I gotta. Well, we can do. Let's put our girl in. No, we. we, we we're, I think we're getting pretty close in here, don't you? I think we've pretty much. We, well, we, if you wanted more red in, I mean, she's dating you know, a lot we, of red we, in the we might. Photos. We could do a little more. Right in here. We need a little more bright red in here, but we'll do that in a minute. That can be drying. Yeah. In the meantime, let's get our girl done. Yeah, you don't want to dump it on top of your wetness. Uh, I, I don't know why I'm not seeing the pointy brushes from the silver ones. <sighs> Are they back in the wash rack still? You didn't give them No, to no, me? no. All brushes have been returned to the queen. Well, oh, he I says... He says What's wrong so. with this one right here? Well, I didn't see it. So that's why I asked. I didn't see it, right? I'm just saying I didn't see it. Okay. It's all right. So we want this, our little kimono person here. And the other ones are in your blue tray next to you. All right. So I drew, So we got white and uh, primary magenta would be kind of a nice pink, yes and yes. And she's in a little pink kimono right here. And she's in front of the, you've got to put her in front of one of the railings and not in front of the other one, right? And then you see a little bit of her kimono coming down here like this on the bridge between the railings. There she is. And she's got a kind of an arm reaching down like this. Okay. And then, you've got to have a head here, which is always important. We're going to say up here on the top, here's your head. And uh, uh, that's pretty good. So far, so good. Yes and yes. And then she's got like a white collar. And she's got a dark red, uh, there's a word for this and I forgot what it is, on the kimono, this dark red. Oh, that back piece. With the back piece. It's got a dark red there and a little bit of a dark red here. And, uh, She's sitting there, and then what's kind of neat is on the bridge itself, we've got sort of this light color um, on the bridge. It's not quite white, but there's a um, 
Here's the blue, here's the railing. And then the top of the rails are lighter too. It's called the obi. That's the pillow on the obi, back side. That's what it was. Yes, the obi. Yes, and obi yes. Obi-Wan Kenobi. And but there's a light on her shoulder here. It's lighter right here. A little bit lighter on this part of the dress right here. Okay, so there's some like little highlights, and then you see a tiny bit of her face like this. Let's see a little tiny bit of that. Not very much. And then there's like a little flower back here in her hair. Okay. And then there's some, let's see, white and violet. What do we got? That's pretty this white and violet color for the rest of the kimono, which is Okay, so a little girl sitting there. Let's see. Let's let's get some CAD. One of the things I'm I'm liking is the, when I really want a red. I want a bright orange color. I'm gonna do. Where did I put that? Here it is. This is called cadmium orange, and it's the really like uh, priorly red. It's very similar. And I'm gonna just just got a little tiny bit more pigment in it to so go by golden a little bit more. Want this very red here. But sometimes with reds, that's another tip I can give you. Sometimes with reds, you have to um, you have to um, do it a few coats. Do it a few coats so they don't uh, they don't show up. So now I'm going to narrow the little light line I did on the bridge. Okay. And, uh, all right, so we want, um, Oh, a few little bits of color here by her hair. And by this bridge here. Okay, so just a little bit like that. And um, let's see, I want the... Uh, I'll just... Give this another coat of something. All right, so you see a little bit of our, there were a lot of, um, um, A lot of, uh, probably a few more boards on this. I didn't want to put them all in because I don't think that, um, that you know, you really need that. And um, I see one thing where I could have done something a little differently, and I can still change it. 
I want to show you how you can do it. I can do this. I'm going to change the perspective on the bridge and that this needs to come up. Let me just show you. This is coming down like this. This needs to come down like this. This bridge needed to fall down here like that. And so, which is fine, I can do that. I'll just put a little green or something here. And just change that a bit because I had the kind of the line of the bridge. It, it they they meet kind of right right like, like under here. They they come down like that and kind of meet in this direction. So um, that now that looks better, doesn't it? And then you it was hard to tell because there was all these um there's all this kind of or orange foliage around it which made it a little more challenging to see who 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 met where with whom. How's that? Do you like that? Who met where with whom? Yeah. Now remember, this is going to be up for auction. It's not going to have a buy it now. It's going to be an auction item. It's going to be in an auction. The blue is the boards. It's the walk. And you're looking at the side of the board. The, the blue is part of the bridge. It's actually... Um, yeah, it's the board. It's a board here. It's a this it's pretty a board blue board. Across. It's this neat board. It had a, it has a blue a, edge. Kind of like these little. Something like that. It's part of the part of the design, and it match. You know the the. Um, it matches that, and then let's see. I want to put her hair. Let's say like like that. There's her hair like that. There we go. And um, let's <coughs> what else do I what am I missing here? Yeah, this walkway you see a little bit more of the bridge here. Yep. So um, yeah, and then there's the dark underneath. This is our the boards down here. This is the bridge here. We're all explaining this in case you missed it. <laughs> and um, then we have a, we need some of the, right over in this corner, you see here? We need some bright red. Yes and yes? So this is where we're going to get into our, um, probably our, if the buy it now has bids already on it, do the bidders lose out? Yes. Yes. This is a uh, cad red light. Great color. A little bit brighter. Bring some brightness in. I'm just going right out of the tube with it. Steffi brings up a good point. Would you not love a five-year membership in one of the academies? Bid on one in the auction today. We've never done that before either. No. No, we've never offered that uh, ever. We thought it would be a good way to get a good deal if you like what we do. How long is the auction running for? One more week. One more week from today. They start closing on next Tuesday. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of luminous uh, orange with them. Um, just a little bit of this color here, brighten it up a few places. The light's hitting it on top. And uh, for sure over in here, kind of mix those together. I think I want, um, I think I want cad yellow medium. Uh, maybe cad yellow light. That was the other color that we wanted. 
that I wanted, cad yellow, medium cad yellow light. There's one painting that we have up there that has a buy it now price on it. That means if you click that, you're buying it that for that price and the auction is closed. Yes. This is where we start getting up. It's just something new there. that we thought we'd try one time and just see what it actually did. We've never done one before. We've never done a buy it now before. Absolutely not. We've never even tried that. We've kind of just seen what the software would do, so... Go for it, Jenny. Don't be don't be chicken. Now we're doing our final. You see how we're starting to brighten up? This is a cad yellow light. Just brighten up some spots here and there. Yellow is a primary color, so and that's it's it's the the truism here is you get what you pay for. Which is true. And so when it comes to bright colors, um, you know you really do. Um, whoops. Let's see, where where am I going to go here with some brighter ones? Well, and, Steffi uh, puts it a good way. Bid on a piece and hope it's yours. Hope you get it. Or buy it now and it is yours. Good way to yeah. put it. Yeah, because some, you know, somebody can outbid you and the way we run our auctions by 25 cents. They can come along and just right before the auction closes, they can, Snipe you know. For a quarter more. 25 cents. I so, hate losing bids like that. And also, we have a payment plan on our auction. Um, if you're wondering about that, um, we think some of these would be really nice gifts for Christmas. And um, here we go. Here's a little bit of the luminous rose that. Yeah, Don there's just, only one painting that has it. That has the buy it now on it. Yeah, we just thought we'd try it. We may do others. Um, I think where I'm going to do the luminous rose is on her uh, dress. Oh, really? Yeah, she's got a really nice uh, pink kimono. Just brighten up her kimono just a bit and I'll even put some red with that. There's some really nice bright, let's see, maybe magenta. Darker colors and lighter colors for her kimono so you can kind of see her, right? And I uh, want to make sure you notice that this is a flower. Okay. And uh, then we've got a few little, we've got a little dark branch that's coming down here. Not even one little hiccup. All right. Okay, so we've got, um, I would say we're about pretty close to done on this, John. Um, got a little bit more than I want to do. Could you show the giveaway painting that we're giving away tonight? All right, this is the painting that we're going to be giving away tonight. This was a YouTube tutorial that I did a couple of years ago that more people do. This is probably one of our most successful YouTube videos is for fall. And this is the original Ginger Cook version of this. And which is what the tutorial was based on. We, we, we thought this would be fun. Since we're not giving away this painting, we thought, besides giving away, now that we're doing that, and also a brand new Salvador uh, paint kit. Oh, I thought we were going to give them a used one. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, we're going to give a new one away? Brand new one, yeah, with the oh, 12 brushes right. and the 24 paints and the sponges. 24 um, paints, 12 knife. brushes, palette knife, little palette thingy. Now, if you, if you want to know about these, one of the reasons that, that these are the colors for the most part we've been using all night. And one of the reasons we love these is because for under, like for $25 or less, depending if you use our discount coupon code on Amazon, you could buy these set. And well, it's a great value. They're right now, I think, too. And they, and they constantly have sales on them. Yeah, they are just absolutely great. Um, uh, they're absolutely great set. So, I mean, I'll tell you what, I, 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 I'm so impressed with them. And uh, I feel like I just need a little bit more light white in the water here. I have to rinse this brush pretty well since I've had pink on it. But um, this is the tutorial. We're not, we're not going to be filming this again. This is it. This, this is, is it, it, you guys. You can do this anything. Was a, you know, here. my daughter, the Archerpa. 
And she said, here, she Mom, said, see if you can paint this. Yeah, she just, it was sort of a challenge, and John was, and I will Because you all out. wanted John pick, and I was sitting there, okay, I'm going to pick out something, and then Cinnamon contacted me and says, hey, I got a painting for your mom. It's fall. And so Ginger didn't get to see it until the Yeah, this is the first time the I've show. seen it, and, um, but you got to admit that it's, um, Okay, this, uh, I think there's something sort of uh, sort of charming about this, don't you, John? Yeah. And we're pretty much using up all our paints here, but we're... Um, You're doing fine. I, I think I'm doing... So make sure you do enter. The uh, piece is signed. It's in the lower left corner. It's hard to see through the camera, but it is there. And if it's not, it, you be rest assured it will have a signature on it. Is the giveaway a one-point perspective? Yes. I don't know how strong a one it is, but it is. Yeah. You're, you're on a path going back into the painting. This is really a one-point perspective, too. There's not really much perspective in it, but it has more perspective than it did if she was going to put a waterfall in there. That would have really flattened it. Grumble. thought it should be a waterfall. <laughs> Grumble, grumble. Should have been a waterfall. I'm not, no, no. Well, I'm left, we'll have to redesign it. We'll do a waterfall one. There you go. There you go. So put that bridge back over there a little bit more. Can anyone and tell me who makes designer magenta? That's Matisse, and you don't need to get it. Just get regular magenta, the Quinn, whatever it's called. Quadricorn, yeah. Design yeah. magenta is different. Design magenta was made for, by Matisse, they don't even sell it in Australia, was made for some college... Um, University in the Midwest uh, for their art class. And, we uh, had problem getting Quinn and we needed it, and that's all they had. So, and then we were using Matisse at the time, and that's what they sent. So, um, yes, this will be available for re rewatch. This is, yeah. Yeah, we're leaving this up. But honestly, when you think about it, um, I feel like we've gotten. Um, You've captured the scene. I feel like we, we have, don't you think so? I think you've done quite well. Um, I feel like we have. I feel like we've we've uh, created some very nice um, contrast here with our with our colors. And um, the, the yin and the yang, as it were. Yeah, let me just mix these two colors together and see what I get. I want something brighter here, you guys. You can see it like that. Let's put some red in it. I want something a little brighter here. No, I want maybe. I think cad red light was as close as I was getting. Let's try um, luminous rose and yellow. See what I get. I need something brighter there and more yellow. Or orange. Okay, let's see if I can get it. Still working on my bright color here. All right, let's see how we did here. A little bit brighter up in here like that. It's certainly beautiful reds where we're coming over by her. Yep. And, oh... Ooh, let's do this. Like I say, I'm almost done. But this was this was the kind of thing where it, you know, it, this gets really fun to me. I mean, something you like this a gets because you can really um, can really brighten it up, and you know, there's so many different ways to paint this. But and you could probably spend a couple hours on it. But I think for the time we've spent, which is about what two hours. About two hours, right? <laughs> I don't, you know, for a 9 by 12, I don't think that that's, um... It's not bad. It's, that's unreasonable. Is the coupon so good for the paints? Yes, it should be active now. I think that and that you can might... use, there's two of them that are running right now, and you can use them both together. Yeah. At least that's what she said. Um, the, the, the two... It's in the, the description of this video. If it's not, it will be. All right, Should so there's be, our, um, let's see, and then here's our, there are, um, 
little redder on the bridge here. Just get a little bit redder up there. Okay. Let's talk about CAD bed for them. Yeah. Okay, there's our red bridge. Here's our girl. I think that, you know, for the most part, uh, we're I feel her like done. we're going to call her done. Um, let's do the little bit of light pink where it goes, which I'm not sure where, but right, right here, right? All right, you guys, there's our... Um, of uh, cinnamon, uh, there's my art chirpa challenge for my daughter cinnamon, and um, I'm pretty happy with that. I want to just bring some of this color over here a little bit. So, we're going to be drawing shortly. You have two seconds to get your name into the entree form. We've got 321 souls, and that's not for the painting I'm doing now, that's for the um, for the fall pathway. I don't remember what we even called that one. Autumn, yeah. Autumn, Autumn Path? Autumn Path, I think. I think is what it is. Autumn Path, all right. You got use guys, right? Use guys. Use guys, yes and yes. Um, you know, Ginger can always find another color to put somewhere, but I um, uh, just uh, want a little lighter green here. You have no problem trying to put colors here, there, and everywhere. No, just... You can see what I'm doing here. Just going to bring in some lighter green over by her. Yeah? Yes and yes? Yes and yes. The top of this. Yeah, acrylics dry darker, so sometimes you think you've got just the right amount of light green somewhere, and then you see where you could have added something else. But um, I tell you what, I I think this is this was a fun one. Uh I enjoyed painting it. I hope you guys enjoyed um, the, you know, our challenge. And um, I'm going to just put my cook signature right here and call this finished. Well, actually, it's a fall painting with the, the standard running joke we've got. And because um, all our paintings are called finish. <laughs> when we're done. Finish yeah. one. Finish two. I have a winner for this. For the. Uh, you do. Well, can you whip out the? Um, oh, you're still painting. I no, you were just um, we're talking about we're talking about this is the oh, auction piece. The other color you're looking. Yep, Th that this one right there. This is the auction piece. We have a Lynn Ray. Where's Lynn from? California. Wow! Congratulations, Lynn. Of um, the autumn path. I think that this one this one has my signature, but I'm going to revitalize the red stripe through it. That's why you don't see it right here. There you go. There's my yeah. signature. It was on there. But, um, hope so, you Lynn Ray, if you are still out there, please send us your mailing address. And we're happy Did to do that. And the, now for the Salvador paint kit, someone's going to get that. And I got the lucky number for that. Well, I thank our mods for hanging with us for a couple hours, too. And we thank you guys for hanging with us for the painting. I want to show the painting again at the end of this. The, uh, the actual photograph will be on our Beginner Acrylic website for our um, basic supporter, 495 members and up. All our uh, uh, reference photos and uh, traceables are on the be uh, beginneracrylicartist.com, uh, basic supporter and up, um, if you want access to anything from 2020. Okay, so that's the Salvador paint kit. Who's getting that, John? That's going to go to Pamela, ooh, from Arizona. Thielen, I think. Thielen. Arizona, okay, yep. all right. We want to thank uh, our friends from overseas that were watching way in the middle of the night. And I think well, that's really the middle of the morning. Middle of the morning for you guys. We thank you very much for the, the time that you watched us. I think that um, if you look at our reference photo, here we go, see that? And I think that we, uh, I think we interpreted that nicely, and you may interpret it differently, but you kind of see how you might begin to paint something like this. I love this little railing over here. I think that's so nice. And um, you do too, don't you? Just, I do. Just, 
it's just the whole the whole painting is just very serene and nice and um, uh, a f fun fall challenge. So cinnamon, thank you so much for this. I had fun doing it. We hope you guys will um, uh, um, come over and check out our auction, JuniorCookAuction.com. And remember, if you want my personal help with a painting like this or anything else we have, either on YouTube that I've, I've painted or in our academy with over 500 lessons, just become a member of Ginger, uh, Ginger Cook Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting where personal art coaching is part of the deal for a very reasonable price. And thanks, you guys. I hope, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thanks, everybody. Catch you next time. Have some laughs on the way out. 20-second spot only takes 30 minutes. Wait here. One of the features that is offered on our website for... And let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> Besides a certificate of authenticity on the paintings, which is really the best feature. <laughs> yes, that alone. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I said click on the thumbnail. Okay, then you're, then then you're I said I could set on my. <laughs> Another great feature of our auction site is the robotic eviction. Um, start again. <laughs> <laughs> you think I drank, wouldn't you? <laughs> All right, sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another great feature. You want to go from the robot again? Or? Yeah, just. <laughs> One of the great features, one of the great features of our auction site is our robotic. <laughs> our robotic what? <laughs> oh yes. Is the robot the option of? Let me try. <laughs> Bidding system. Okay, that's better because I can't say robot apparently. I and bidding at the same robot, time. Let's go for the automatic bidding system. Um, to bid, register to bid. Okay, let me start again. All right. Okay. I don't know how so I can't. Do... <laughs> so close. Almost had it. <sighs> God, that couldn't afford to have me make a movie. Oh, that be there with a. <laughs> oh, we could never afford this. We couldn't afford oh. this. All right. The robot bidding system. The budget bid for you, and then being able to walk away and not worry that someone has outbid you. Well, that's still good, but. <laughs> By a quarter. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have the hard, hard hugs from John and Ginger. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> no hard hugs here, people. You're on your own. <laughs>